Hola. Hi. This is Al, your probability and statistics instructor. Let's get to work. In this video, we are going to show, we're going to uh, provide a mathematical proof of a theorem, a result, that will give you an alternative way of finding, of computing the variance of a random variable y. Okay? In your textbook, they refer to this uh, theorem, this uh, result, as theorem 3.6. So by definition, we have that the variance of a random variable y equals the expected value of this particular transformation, y minus mu, whole thing square, right? The expected value of that transformation. We know that by definition. But what we are going to be showing is that there's another way of finding the variance and that alternative way is just compute the expected value of y squared minus the mean of your random variable, the whole thing square. Okay? Okay. That's what we want to show. Here we go. By definition so that's a given, right? We know that that the variance of a random variable y is just the expected value of a special transformation. The special transformation uh, is y minus its mean. Let me use that notation for the expected value of y mu of y, that Greek m, right, square. So that's by definition. The variance is expected value of y minus mu, the whole thing square. Okay. Now, let's just uh, expand, right? Let's find uh, this. This is the same as y square minus 2 times y times mu y, right? The mean of the random variable y plus mu y or mu of y square. You guys agree? We're just expanding this. Now, in another video we talked about three useful uh, results. We said that in the future we may encounter uh, more complicated transformations and those uh, results could be useful to find expected values of those uh, more complicated transformations. Okay, so remember that one of those uh, theorems, one of those results, uh, said in plain English something like this. If you want the expected value of a sum that is the same as the sum of expected values. So this is the expected value of a sum. This is the sum of expected values, right? So it's going to be expected value of uh, y square uh, plus, let me just write it down like that, expected value of uh, minus 2 times y, this guy here, minus 2 times y, 
times mu of y and then we have the expected value of mu square or the mean of the random variable y square okay and uh, if I remember correctly that theorem that states that the uh, expected value of a sum is sum of expected values is theorem uh, 3.5 from our textbook okay uh, what next uh, remember that uh, one of those theorems I think it was the first one that we discussed said something like this if you want to find the expected value of a constant the expected value of a constant is the constant itself okay so that's theorem 3.3 .3. and mu of y square once you find it it's a constant right so at some point I remember that we found the expected value for a uh, random variable the random variable was the uh, number of uh, cars used for business purposes on a work day okay so anyway in that case the expected value of that uh, random variable was 2 right so the expected value of 2 is going to be 2 well this guy is just a generic constant square so expected value of that constant is going to be the constant itself so I'm just going to use that result expected value of a constant is the constant itself and that would be theorem 3.3 from our textbook okay then there was uh, the second result that we said was going to be useful uh, among that set of three uh, results that involved the expected value well it said something like this hey if you want the expected value of a constant times a function g of y okay the expected value of c times g of y is the same as c times the expected value of g of y makes sense so this is exactly what we have here so I'm going to be using that uh, theorem there let me copy and paste this now I get to pull out that constant minus 2 and this is a constant as well so I might as well pull it out make sense constant times a function of y then it's just if you want expected value of a constant times g of y constant times expected value of uh, g of y okay okay now uh, let me remind you that the expected value of y is the same I mean it's just notation mu of y is just the expected value of y so let me just say that here it's just notation a different way of uh, referring to the same quantity so this guy here is just mu of y but mu of y times mu of y equals mu square and we have two times mu square right so let me be lazy here I'm going to be just writing this down like that and then we have expected value of y square minus two times mu of y square plus mu of y square only one of those guys survives and what we end up with is expected value of y square minus 
mu of y square right so oh and I forgot to say the uh, theorem that we used here theorem 3.4 right okay anyway variance of y equals expected value of y square minus its mean the mean of y the whole thing square and that's exactly what we wanted to show okay that's it we are done so anyway just to summarize this is going to be an alternative way of computing the variance uh, my personal preference is that I, I like finding the variance using this result rather than using the definition okay okay well that's it for now please take care and keep working hard see you next time bye